folk song Black is the Colour of My True Love's Hair, made famous by Christy Moore. There are four main chords um, to the piece, but there are some embellishments also. Uh, the main chords are A minor, F major, G major, and E major. Now, the picking pattern I was using there is for 4-4 four, four time. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1. It's a picking pattern I use a lot for 4-4 uh, four, four songs. But I think for the purpose of this lesson I'm just going to, I'm going to simplify that a little bit and I'm going to uh, pick as follows. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... So what we're doing is picking a, a bass note with the thumb. 1, 2nd string, 3rd string, 1st string. That will be constant right through. 2nd, 3rd, 1st. So it'll be bass, 2nd, 3rd, 1st, bass. I'm picking an alternative bass here. So 5th string, 2nd, 3rd, 1st. Then 4th, 2nd, 3rd, 1st. So if I'm playing the chord of G major, I'm picking the bass with the thumb, the 6th string this time, because that's the root note. So it will be 6th, 2nd, 3rd, 1st. Again, the 2nd, 3rd, 1st will remain constant right throughout the piece. So let's look at it then. It starts off with the chord of F major, but I'm playing it slightly different just to um, embellish it a little. And instead of playing F major, I'm playing the F chord shape, but without fretting the first string here. So I'm just playing the, I'm fretting the uh, fourth, third and second strings. But I'm going to pick the fourth, third, second and first strings. And that chord is F major 7, actually played like that. F major, F major 7. The picking pattern then for this is... Don't uh, play an alternate bass here. Then slide that shape for the next chord up to the third fret, third position, and we play the same picking. If I completed that bar chord, that would, that chord shape is G. But again, I'm not fretting the first string. And that chord is G6, or a G add 6 chord, I'm fairly sure. Okay, so the first two chords, and the picking pattern again. Fourth, second, third, first. And then we're back to A minor, and this time we're picking the bass note with the thumb, and it's the fifth string. Now this time I'm playing the 5th, 2nd, 3rd, 1st. I'm going to play an alternate bass here, the 4th string. Again, the other fingers that repeat the same pattern. So it will be 5th, 2nd, 3rd, 1st. And when we're playing the alternate bass, I'm going to remove my first finger. Again, for embellishment purposes. And then back on. We play the A, the A minor chord twice, one and two and first finger off, three and four and back on, one and two and three and four and I don't take my first finger off the second time. When we take the first finger off there from the A minor chord, that is um, A minor sus two. Then we go to the F major chord and simple pick here. The bass string is the fourth, and we alter alternate that with the fifth. Then we go to the G major chord, where we're picking the sixth string. The next chord we're moving to is E major, which is this chord shape. 
but we're going to embellish this a little we're going to put our little finger our pinky on the third string second fret directly under your ring finger and we'll leave that on for the full bar the full four beats so we will get and we'll alternate the bass with sixth and fourth one and two and three and four and so again one and two and three and four and then we take our little finger off and we repeat the picking now when we have our little finger there that chord changes from E major to E sus4 for those of you who want to know what the chord name is and from there we go back to the first two chord shapes that we played when we started the piece which was um, F major 7 was the first one and the same we're picking the fourth string which your thumb do F twice one and two and three and four and then we slide the shape up to the G6 chord shape and similar picking and back now to the A minor chord to finish off So we've got one and two and then remove our first finger, play the alternate pace.